Hi Cyberspace! So I don't think I've ever mentioned this before, which is really odd, but I spent this past summer becoming a huge, major, totally obsessive fan of the television show Firefly and its companion movie Serenity. Why am I bringing this up now of all times? Because Nathan Fillion, the amazing actor who plays the main character on Firefly, Captain Malcolm Reynolds, recently said in, an, said in an interview that if he ever won the California lottery, he would buy the rights to Firefly off of 20th Century Fox, make it on his own, and distribute it on the internet. Basically, best news any brown coat has heard in a really long time. For those of you who don't know what a brown coat is, let me explain. Firefly is basically this awesome sci-fi show created by Joss Whedon about space cowboys, which isn't as cheesy as it sounds. Basically, X amount of years in the future, Earth has been destroyed and humanity has gone out into the stars to terraform new planets where they can live semi-comfortably. The inner planets of this new universe, solar system thingamajig, formed an alliance, and they wanted to bring all of the planets under their control. So they waged war against the independents, also known as browncoats, hence the name for the fans, of the Outer Rim planets. And Captain Malcolm Reynolds was a sergeant fighting for the independents on the side that lost the war. Because this is Joss Whedon, therefore it is so the least cliche thing you've ever seen. So it's about a rebellion that failed. It's about a rebellion that was not victorious. This is about the aftermath of that war. This is about what Malcolm Reynolds does now that he's lost the war. And what he does is smuggle. Because what else are you going to do if you have a spaceship and you hate the people in charge? So it's this amazing show about him, his ship, his crew, his relationship to his ship, and his relationship with his crew. And it's basically the best thing ever. And it ran in 2008, and it didn't even last a whole season, which is crap. And everybody who watches the show knows that it's complete crap and that it should still be running now. So Nathan Fillion's statement in his interview gave hope to fans everywhere, not just those who have been fans since 2008 who have, and who have been fighting for to give Firefly a second chance since the beginning, but also people like me and my dad, who only just recently got hooked on the show and who are still hauling for its second chance, even though we just got hooked a couple months ago. This show is amazing, and people want it back. And now for the connection between the two unrelated and totally opposite things. Do you remember what I said yesterday about how Nathan Fillion and Firefly connects to Patrick Rothfuss and the Wise Man's Sphere? Here's that connection. Patrick Rothfuss, you know, that author who wrote that awesome book, The Name of the Wind, that I did my first book review on. If you don't remember that first book review, I'll leave a link in the doobly doo. Posted on his blog, I think yesterday morning, saying that once his book... Wise Man's Fear came out on Tuesday, and he makes enough money off of it because it's bound to be an international bestseller with the fan base that it's got. He will use the money to help Nathan Fillion buy the rights to Firefly so that they can make more. Do you see the interconnection? Basically what I'm saying is that one of my favorite authors wants to help one of my favorite actors restart one of my favorite TV shows. How completely awesome is that? I think the only thing that's even awesomer is the fact that Wise Man's Fear comes out on Tuesday. and I can't wait for that. Like, literally cannot wait. This book is going to be so, so freaking amazing, and you can definitely expect me to leave a book review for that one once I'm done reading it. However, since it's close to a thousand pages, you can expect that it'll take me quite some time to read it. So don't expect the, the book review too soon, but do expect the book review. So there you have it. Totally interconnected awesomeness from not only the Firefly sector of the galaxy, but also from the Patrick Rothfuss sector of the galaxy. This vlog post is basically the best vlog post ever. It has everything you need to be completely amazing. It has Firefly, it has Nathan Fillion, it has Patrick Rothfuss and his books, it even has The Hunger Games, because I am Freedom in Panem, and Alex Carpenter is made of wind, just like every t-shirt he ever produced is, along with all his music. But anyway, it's basically the best vlog post ever. It has all the ingredients for total awesome win. So I hope you found that this blog post was made of total awesome wind, just like I did. If you don't know what Firefly is, go check it out now, immediately, as soon as you can. If you don't know what the name of the wind is, check out my book review and then go read it, because it is so good and you will not be able to wait for Wise Man's Fear once you're done with it. But then again, you won't have to wait, because it'll be out on Tuesday and it'll take you longer than from now until Tuesday to read the name of the wind. How is that fair? I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Unless, of course, I'm too busy reading Wise Men's Fear, which is a definite possibility. <sighs> well, I guess we'll find out on Wednesday if I'm ready to take a break from reading that total
book of awesome, or if I just want to keep plowing straight through. In the meantime, I'll keep being nerdy, you keep being nerdy, go find Firefly, go read The Name of the Wind, do some nerdy stuff, and hopefully I'll see you Wednesday. Bye!